Hello everyone, today we're going to be creating a doodle animation, so let's get started. First, we're going to select video, or I mean videos, from the Canva homepage. This will be the standard 1920 by 1080 size, but in case you'd like to create a doodle animation in different dimensions, click on custom size right over here, and then put your desired dimensions choose your desired unit and click on create new design to get started. But for now, I'll be choosing the standard, so I'm going to go ahead with the videos. So now we are here on the editing page. We're going to get started. And first, I'd like to place a nice background, so I'm going to go to the element section over here to look for some background that I can use. Since we're creating a doodle, I'd like to create um, kind of like a paper uh, look. I'm just going to adjust the transparency. That should be fine. Now, I'd like to add some elements to get started with our doodle animation. So I'm going to go to elements again and look for some uh, doodle graphic animated elements that we can on our doodle video. Say, oh, character for example, and I'm going to go to graphics and I'd like to use an animated graphic element. So I'm going to go here and scroll down a bit, take the checkbox for animated so that our results will be filtered into different animated graphic elements and feel free to choose one that you like. This one, for example. I'd like to add a text, so I'm going to press T on my keyboard. But if you'd like to see some text templates, you can go to the text button on the sidebar and choose some text templates over here. Just going to design our text for a little bit to make it look nice. Let's try to add one more page. Let's click on this button over here and a new page has been added. Let's go to the first page and copy our background. So that is, oh, that is control plus C and control plus V. We're going to try to add another element. So let's do that. Okay, now let's add a transition by hovering over the space between our pages and until these two icons will appear. Click on the second one, the one at the bottom, and let's add a transition. Feel free to choose any transition you like. I think I like this one, so I'm going to leave it at that. And now let's set the duration for our pages. To do that, click on the uh, time over here. And this will appear. So set the time you'd like to have for each um, page of your animation. Say, for example, let's say just three. And over here, also three seconds. In case you want to use an audio file or in case you'd like to add music, go to the element section again, go to audio. Oh, or you can also just type in um, the kind of music you'd like to apply. So I'm going to search for happy and go to audio over here. And let's hear some happy music. Let's say this one. So let's click on it and drag it to our 
video and it'll be added. And in case you'd like to adjust the volume, click on the speaker button here and adjust the slider or input a value over here. And in case you'd like to use your very own audio file instead of using ones from Canva, you can go to Uploads, click on Upload Files, and select that audio file from your computer. And once you upload it, you'll find your audio files under the Audio category. Let's try to see what our video looks like. So that's just a short example. You can keep on editing. And once you're done, you can share or download your file by going to the share button over here and by choosing an option on how you'd like to share your video. Or if you want to download it, click on download. Select your file type, set other download settings, and click on download once you're ready. If you used um, an audio file from Canva, make sure to connect your social account because by connecting your social accounts to Canva, your OneDesign Use Music license will be registered on your account. Each time you use this in a new video, export a new design to avoid a content ID claim. And that's it. We hope you found today's video helpful somehow. Need more Canva tutorials? Check out our channel and consider subscribing. See you in the next one.